Uh, well, the, um, the simulator that you see behind me is representative of an MQ-9, uh, both the ground control station and the connection with the airplane. Uh, today it's uh, playing the role of an MQ-9 in Operation Blended Warrior, uh, and the mission is threefold. Number one, uh, they're going to be looking for uh, pirate ships out there in the, uh, the ocean, a maritime mission. Uh, they're also going to be supporting anti-drug operations. Uh, and lastly, they're on call in case one of the aircraft go down uh, to go find the pilot in a combat search and rescue mission. Well, there's a, there's a couple things right now that are going on as far as trends uh, amongst different, uh, within different air forces right now, uh, and, and the United States is included in this. Uh, right now, because of the expense of some of these UAS systems, especially medium altitude systems like the MQ-1 or MQ-9, uh, many nations can't buy a lot of them so that they have capability to do uh, real world operations as well as do training, uh, as, as do training at the same time. So what's happened is instead, they need a training solution that is primarily virtual in nature. So that's one of the things we're looking at is, is being able to do 90 or 95 percent of the UAS training uh, in the initial training, the type specific training, uh, in a virtual world with one of our simulators. Uh, the other thing that is uh, a challenge right now is very often the pilots, when they finish uh, the type uh, specific training, like in MQ-9s, they immediately go into real world operations. So there's very little time to train on the mission specific uh, uh, requirements before they go into uh, a, a real world operation, combat operations. So what we have to do is make sure our, our training in the initial stages is absolutely the gold standard and they are prepared to jump right into combat operations immediately after the, the initial training. Well, the simulator you see behind us is, again, representative of an MQ-9 ground control station. Uh, it's running a generic, uh, universal uh, UAS software in the background that mimics an MQ-9. Now, we've also produced full MQ-9 simulators. For instance, with the Italian Air Force, we've taken one of their ground control stations, uh, we've uh, matched up our synthetic environment with it and our uh, simulator technology, and now we are producing a zero flight time simulator for the Italian Air Force, which essentially is a level D simulator in which they can do all of their training in a simulated environment rather than have to take hardware uh, and actually fly MQ-9s and use their operational ground control stations.